Sarsi TV Marsh, it's nice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another book review. Well, the series that the book I'm going to be reviewing today, this series was started a very long time on this channel. And from then, I have not reviewed that book. So I thought of re reviewing that book today. And that book is Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. I had already done the Lightning Thief book review, which you guys give me a lot of support on. So we're gonna do the review of this book which is a very creepy book to start off well this in this book uh percy is going to a new new boarding school uh but it's not the one he went last time it's totally different somewhere else and here he is with grover well after that uh, percy goes to school and uh, at that time he uh sees a lot of bullies there uh they play a game of normal dodgeball P uh, during pe but at that time, suddenly those bullies who are playing dodgeball with him become uh, a can of uh, giants. Well, the giants in a bad way, bad, bad in the sense controlled by Kronos, and they wanted to destroy Percy. So they came to school and had a very, very bad game of dodgeball. Well, the balls are flying everywhere. The balls are now catching on fire, but. Right now, Percy has help, and Percy has help from his new friend Tyson. His, his new uh, friend Tyson is somewhat of a very different character. Tyson doesn't have a home. He lives. Uh, he uh, he lives on the roads. Um, he lives on the roads. Well, the reason why Percy is standing in this water in this cover is because they're going on an adventure. They, like I said, they find out about Tyson. But what Percy does not know is that Tyson is Percy's half brother, meaning that uh, that Tyson is Poseidon's son, Poseidon, the god of the sea. Well, after they find this out, they also find out that Poseidon uh, has sired this child, and uh, that also that he is a cyclops, meaning he only has one eye. But since the mist. A magical fog is there people see him as a normal person like I am with two eyes but the thing is since he's a Cyclops Tyson has only one eye and that eye is right here so after that uh, Tyson has remarkable qualities he can build really really important stuff he can build really small stuff but make sure that they're helpful so uh, after he comes to camp half-blood Chiron, uh, Chiron the centaur tells him to work with the Hephaestus cab meaning that he has to work in the forgers so that's a really important task for Tyson after that Tyson goes on a quest with Annabeth Percy while they're going they see a lot of things well the main reason why they went on this quest was because uh, before uh, Camp half Blood on Long Island Sound had protective boundaries Meaning that giants or any other uh, bad forces could not come because Talia's tree, Talia the son, uh, daughter of Zeus, was killed in the Long Island. So she, she was buried there and uh, she was turned into a tree. And that tree, draped with the golden fleece, had a lot of powers to protect Camp Half Blood. But the thing is, someone took a poison from the deep pits of Tartarus, Tartarus the pit in the underworld which cannot be cured. So Percy, Annabeth and Tyson go on search for a cure and even Chiron the centaur can find an answer. While they're going they see a lot of stuff and, uh, and those stuff creep Percy and they get into fights with a lot of monsters as usual but this time Percy uses his sword Riptide or Analocosmos to win the battle. This book is about what happens and this is a true story about friendship in this book. So thank you so much for watching today's video, today's video guys. Uh, I've already told you you can check out the other books in the Percy Jackson series. I would be reviewing The Titan's Curse very soon. Stay tuned for that book review. Bye!